Uh, in this video, I'll give you a brief overview of the writing assignments for this class. And I'll also talk a little bit about the writing process or suggested writing process that will probably work well for you during this class. Let's look at our first slide. So here are all the writing assignments that you will need to complete if you're interested in how many points are given for each writing assignment, please check your syllabus. There is a table at the end that will clearly tell you which assignment has however many points. Um, also make sure that in this first week, you'll carefully review the multi-page document on writing assignments. You will see this information repeated verbatim in each writing assignment description in each module. But I'd like you to kind of take a look, sort of a bird's eye view of the whole class to see what the writing process will look like for this class. So let me walk you through our different modules, which we have eight of um, according to those eight weeks in this course. So the first module, the first writing assignment you'll be submitting um, by the end of this week will be the topic summary statement. The due dates are always 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in a different time zone, make sure you will adjust accordingly. Um, the first due date is September 2nd. It's almost always a Sunday. There's one exception that I'll point out to you when we get there. Um, so that's the first assignment that's due on September 2nd. The next week, you'll do a revision of this first assignment called the topic description where you go into greater detail. Um, and by the way, for some of these writing assignments, for example the one in module one, you're also required to comment on at least two peers or two other students' uh, uh, submissions. Uh, you will see the ones we have to comment are usually in the discussion board format. Um, and again, carefully read each assignment instruction because it's clearly outlined there. And of course, if you have any questions, always email me and I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. So topic summary statement, module one, module two, topic description, also do that Sunday. Module three, um, an assignment for that, which we call reflection on jargon and science writing, uh, due on September 16th, same time. Module four, here you have two options. And this is some, something I, I want to mention to you and if you've already looked at the writing assignment document I sent out in my introductory email, you will have noticed it. You'll have, in general, you have two options you can choose for this course. If you're already working on a journal article um, at the moment, you can use that to get feedback from me, feedback from your peers, and to really hone that, um, that product. But if you're not, which is fine, or if you are and you don't want to use it, that's okay too. Um, you will have to choose a topic that first week um, as part of the topic summary statement. And that topic will remain your topic for the rest of this course. So you can choose. It has to be a topic related to science and healthcare. Look at the assignment instructions for some more guidance on how to figure that, how to find a suitable topic. But that topic will stay with you. So choose one that you're passionate about and or interested in, or in a case of an article, have to write anyway. So reflection on jargon and science writing four and module uh, module three, module four, the introduction of a journal article or an article summary. So here you have two options depending on if you're working on an article or you're not. Module five, you have to write what I call an article in alumni magazine. So you're pretending that you've been asked to write an article. Um, then you also have to critique a Pierce article a few days later. And that is really that is, um, that is really the only time that your writing assignment is a little off sync in terms of uh, the deadline. So if you notice, the deadline for uh, Module 5 for the Critique of a Pierce article is the following week. It's a Wednesday, October 3rd. It's clearly marked in the syllabus, so make sure you pay attention to that. Module 6, again, you have two options. Either you can submit a method section you're working on, or you compare two method sections from two articles that I've pre-selected for you. Um, oh, getting back to module five, the critique of a Pierce article, in the in week four of module four, I will email you who I will email you the name of the person whom whose article you're critiquing. So I'll assign that to you. Module seven, 
you'll submit a short assignment as we, uh, as we call research priority. And then module eight, you'll submit a portfolio cover letter and a portfolio. And the portfolio is an interesting and really wonderful way of emphasizing that writing is a process because there's four writing assignments here that you actually are required to revise for the portfolio. And let me show you which ones those are. The topic description, either the intro to the article or an article summary, the article in the alumni magazine, and the methods section or the comparison of methods sections. So those four pieces you will have to revise and submit as your portfolio at the end. And that means you'll take my feedback and the feedback from your peers in the case of the alumni article uh, to revise your work. So let me walk you through this and show this to you on a calendar uh, screenshot, which will make it a little clearer. So you'll see here our eight weeks starting on August 27th. Everything that's marked in red are the deadlines that you have to um, adhere to. And incidentally, all the quizzes, there's going to be a quiz each week. They're very short and they're based on the readings and some of the video lectures and the material you covered for the class. These quizzes are also due by 11.59 p.m. each Sunday. And what is circled in blue is the time you get feedback from me. So it's usually the next day by Monday evening. The only exception is that first week because September 3rd is a holiday. And so I won't be able to get to reading your material until the 4th. But otherwise, you'll have my feedback on Monday after, afternoon, possibly evening. I'll send out an email announcement to everybody that feedback and grades are in. And then I would suggest for those assignments you have to revise, to revise them right there and then. We've also added this wonderful writing assignments progress bar on the top of each module. So here you see the example of module two. What is circled in blue is something you've already done the last week. So there's a big red X, right? You've already submitted your topic summary statement in, pre in the previous week. So this week, whatever has a green check mark is what you should be doing. In this case, in module two, the topic description. Let me show you another example from a later part in the semester. This is module five. So you have to write the alumni magazine article this week, but you also have received that week feedback from me on either your introduction or the article summary, which means that, again, my suggestion, I can't force you, but my suggestion very strongly, vehemently I want to make this suggestion, is to revise right when you get comments back, when it's still fresh in your mind. And in general, when it comes to revision and the writing process, I do want to say that I suggest to you that you revise your work even before submitting it the first time. So don't just write something the last minute and submit it. Um, you can do that, of course, but in my experience, both as a writer, as an instructor, usually writers fare better if they spend a little time with it. But you probably already know this, so I'm sounding like a broken record. Again, you are forced to revise four of the pieces you're writing and submit them as your portfolio at the end of the class. And the one thing that I want you to do in your revision, uh, in your revised versions for the portfolio is to highlight either in italics or you can highlight it with a color in your Word document, the passages that you've revised. Again, the assignment descriptions will walk you through it in greater detail each week. And is of course, always email me with any additional questions. But this writing assignments progress bar will help you stay on track with the different assignments you have to write fresh, so to speak, but also the ones that you have to revise. So again, of course, you can revise the Sunday the portfolio is due, which means you'll be revising four different documents. And none of them are really longer than two to three pages. Some of them are shorter. So it's not a significant amount of pages for each assignment. But it does take time to revise your writing. You will see that the feedback I give you is not just like, oh, put a comma here or add a word here. But I'll engage with you in terms of the structure of the organization based on all those principles we're covering. I'll engage on that level with you. So I'm expecting to see those changes reflected in your revision as well, as well as your peers' feedback um, on uh, a few of those pieces that you're resubmitting as well. Okay, so, so much about uh, our writing assignments for this class and the writing process. So give yourself time to revise. And there's a wonderful quote I want to end this video with by a great American writer called James Missioner, who always said, I'm not a good writer 
but I'm an excellent grief writer. And if you've ever read his work, he's a very, very good writer. But again, it li the, the kick lies in the revision process. And, you know, I, I can certainly second that. My first, second, third draft sometimes are really not the greatest, but they get better with each revision process, particularly when I get feedback on it. All right? So you'll get plenty of feedback this class. That's really a core element of, of this, of this course, as well as the many of the other courses you'll take in our program.